back to the Grand Slam channel. Today is Monday, November 20th. Hope you all had a great weekend. We have Monday Night Football primetime game between the Eagles and the Chiefs. If you guys need props for that, my video has been out since last night. Uh, three of those five props that I put up have been bumped like I predicted. Uh, so that's all up to you guys. Uh, but I do have five good props for NBA. Uh, we've got a pretty good slate for today. Uh, so we're going to head on over to Fantasy. And I got a couple picks that I like. And first one will be Towns, Carl Anthony Towns. I'll be taking his fantasy score at 38.5. He has a ceiling of 60. Uh, he's been averaging 45 to 50 in the past couple of games. Uh, should be a good matchup against the Knicks, so I have him going over fantasy. Uh, second option, another good option is a PRA. <clears throat> uh, let's head on over to my second option. And that'll be Dyson Daniels. I'm taking one of the key players uh, of the Pelicans. And I'll be taking his fantasy score. Uh, his rebounds and assists is great out, uh, also. Uh, but I'll be taking his fantasy score at 24. Uh, you can see his past five, he's been cashing. He's been averaging between 30 and 32 fantasy. He rebounds, he assists, and he scores uh, over 10 points a game. Uh, so he should cash that fantasy score pretty easily against Sacramento. Uh, next up for fantasy, I'll be taking Duncan Robinson. He's been cashing for us. Uh, he shoots a lot of threes, so he can score from anywhere from 15 to 20 points a game. Uh, his fantasy scores at 24.5. Uh, he gets about two or three rebounds, same as assist. Uh, he can sneak in a steal or two, so that's why I'll be taking his fantasy score. His points is not bad at 15. I like to push equity on that. Like I said, he does shoot a lot of threes. Uh, so he does average about 20 points a game. <clears throat> Next up is Sabonis. And Sabonis, he is my favorite of the day, which I'm targeting him on my latter day challenge. Uh, I'm taking his fantasy score there. But for this one, I'll be taking his PRA. His points is good. Uh, his rebounds is also good. Uh, PRA is my second top option. You can substitute it uh, and put his fantasy. Uh, but his PRA is just as good as his fantasy. And last one will be De'Aaron Fox. Another one that's been cashing for us since he came off the injured list. Uh, for him, his fantasy score is at 47. Same as a bonus. Obviously, these two are the key players for Sacramento. Obviously, they're gonna both uh, they're both going to be needed in this one against the Pelicans. So at 47.0, I think he's going to go well over 50. He's been averaging about 52 to 56 past six games. Uh, he had the ceiling of 70, as you can see, against the Spurs. He went 68.1, and that was just a couple days after he got off the injured list. Uh, so obviously, we'll be taking his fantasy score. So those are the five I'll be going with. Anthony Towns, Dyson Daniels, Duncan Robinson, De'Aaron Fox all over fantasy and DeMontis Sabonis over PR. You can substitute that for his fantasy, uh, but I'll be taking his fantasy as leg one on my latter day challenge along with Alex Caruso, which I like multiple props from him as well, but I'll be taking his points since he's been averaging over 10 points in the past eight games. So mix and match, pick your favorite. Tell lightly. Uh, obviously, I'm putting 20 on the latter day challenge, and that's what we start off with. Good luck. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.